Howdy folks, got another Clean Water Stores instructional video for you. The unit that I'm holding in our hand, we're shooting it a little bit in the dark so that you can read the digital display, is the automatic timer for the flush valve for a purge valve on a Rusco sediment filter. This is so that uh, at a pre-programmed time, the valve will open for a few seconds, flush the filter clean, and then close again. And so we're going to go ahead and set it for it. Right now, I got 23 hours and 59 minutes, and that's basically we're going to set it to flush once a day for a certain number of seconds. There's an indicator up here with a red line, whichever the red line is either pointing, it's pointing at closed right now, although you're sure you can't see it, and then there's open pointing at open. And there are three buttons on the bottom. There is the set button, there is the arrow pointing to the right, and there is the scroll up arrow. So there's three buttons here. You're going to press and hold the set button for a couple of seconds. Screen's going to change to lowercase t and the word on. And we're going to go ahead and set, and we're going to, we're going to press the, uh, the uh, right arrow. And what we're doing this first thing is how long is it going to be on or open for? We don't want it open for 24 hour, 20 hours or for 24 hours. We don't want it open for four hours. I'm pressing the scroll over button, and now I'm in tens of minutes flashing, and now I'm in single minutes flashing. And as you see, I've run out of space here, but if I press the scroll to the right arrow one more time, now I've got ten, and then over here I've got two. I've programmed it for 12 seconds to remain open, which is long enough for it to open, for it to water to pass through and flush it out. So that's how you set it. When you turn it on, you're, when you turn it on, you're going to get it, and you're going to press the set button. It'll say T and on, and then you're going to press the right arrow, and then you're going to skip all the way over and program it to a number of seconds. Now, it just backed out of the programming because I didn't tip, press the buttons for a little bit. So now it changed the state to open. It counted down for 12 seconds. Now it went back off. And now you can see I programmed it for once a day, every 24 hours. So every 24 hours, the thing will open for 12 seconds. So back to getting to where you could program the, 20, the 24 part. You're going to start off by hitting the set button for a couple of seconds. You've got your T on, the time of the valve's on, we've already set that. Now you've got your T off, the time of the valve that it's going to remain off, and you press your scroll to the right button, and here I have my two, here I have my four, and here I have my zero and my zero, okay? And then obviously you're pretty much, you don't need seconds for that one because you're not going to want it just off for seconds at a time. So then you press your set button again, and... Whoops, went, went into the same menu again. Sorry about that. Press the set button again. And then press the set button again. And then this is, uh, if a sticker's if a stick were to become jammed, if something's to get through in the valve, into the ball valve that opens and closes, it would cause the motor to want to run, and it would start drawing amps, okay? So you set this thing. It comes preset. It's on, and it's on right there. And then you go to the next one. And it's saying 400. Zero, zero. And what that is, it's set for 400 milliamps. It means as soon as it starts trying to draw more than that because something's stuck in there, it'll shut down automatically. So it won't wear the motor out, although it will, whatever's, whatever's blocking it, will block it until somebody comes there and fixes it. But that's what the uh, four functions are. And when you're done with the menu, it always goes back to the open me state. So it opens for 12 seconds. It's going to do that one last time. And now here it's going to close. And now it's going to not open again for 24 more hours. And that's how it works, folks. Thanks.